Hi, my name is Sue. Um, I am doing FAQ videos on uh, Dutch census work, and this one is about um, the first stages of understanding it, uh, but mainly about looking at the information yourself um, without having to get the software or, or just looking at it independently just to sort of double check um, things. And so here, obviously, on the screen is what Dutch Sense is using, which you, of course you don't have to get. Um, and there are other ways around to look up the information. So, right, so I'm going to go on to the internet browser and the first thing you could do is just go on to YouTube um, and access the live stream. Um, if you just type in Dutch Sense, live and it should come up at the top and this is where you can see um, the the uh, Dutch census globe um, using the earthquake 3D software that he's got um, this is showing the last 48 hours of earthquakes around the world um, fed from the EMSC and USGS and um, so this is a, a really good kind of pretty way of looking at it where all the information is there, the arrows are there and and it's kind of all you need if you have internet access and the a computer that's able to to play the video live stream. But another way independently to do it, say if you didn't have very much internet access, my bird's a bit noisy, so excuse me, is if you Google EMSC and this is the European agency. Um, it, it, it's coming up to the top on Google for me. You, you might want to put EMSC earthquakes just to be sure you get the right website. Um, whoops. On the front page, being a European agency, it will be, of course, showing Europe and more into detail of what's happening across Europe. Um, we've just recently had the 7.4 in Iran so is sort of a bit busy at the moment with high pressure going through. Um, there is a view for the world and here you can get an idea of what's showing on the screen um, of, the, of around the planet. <laughs> if you put your mouse over them it will show you the um, magnitudes and details there. And below the map is a list of so, it, you know, you can see it in list form. Um, some of these might not, not be on the map because otherwise, well, I don't know, they should be all on there. Um, there is different views. You can look at for the last 48 hours, which then, um, yeah, so, so there's that option or the last week. Normally when we monitor, it's about, we put it on the last 48 hours to work out which places have gaps that don't have earthquakes on the progression lines on the arrows <clears throat> so so there's the information there now um, this website is quite easy to use um, so you've got your list at the bottom so you've got your magnitudes here and your countries there and, and so on and of course <laughs> I keep accidentally clicking on them but when you do click on them you get the information of course here <clears throat> um, now, oh yeah, I can quickly show you about the, the coordinates. So if I just copy and paste the coordinates here and then put them into Google Maps. Sometimes it doesn't like semicolons. Um, <clears throat> right, so if I just zoom out. So that's the coordinates of where the earthquake was there. So I um, I just pasted the coordinates into Google Maps and then it just took me straight there. So that's an idea of of um, that. Oh, dear, excuse me. Um, if you do satellite view on Google Maps, this is also a nice way of checking if it's on land or if it's near built up area. If it's going to be like a where there's going to be housing or if it's just mountainous. I think when you zoom in further, you can see actual buildings and things. So, so that's quite interesting to look at exactly where the earthquakes are, and that's how we do it. Um, going back to the EMC, um, 
you can go into maps here actually and I tend to use the interactive map view and so this is quite similar again you can zoom in um, and there's your Google Maps satellite view again I'm not sure how close you can get all within EMSC sometimes it just stops but that's pretty good isn't it yeah so that 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 kind of, that works for sort of research there. Um, now I get asked a lot about reports. Um, so here is the public report actually. So this is the the main list of earthquakes. So without the map, and you can see everything that's happened today. Um, take note that so this is page one of the sixteenth of November page two and then it's about two about two thirds of the way through the second page we're on to the to yesterday okay so this is actually the what's called the official ref, report of of earthquakes around the world um i've been asked about why is there an official and uh, i mean what is defined as a, an official report um because of having seen another list where not all of them are reported and um I think the the um what is called an official report is when the agencies do have the same result and they kind of communicate to each other and they have the same results together and then it's all publicized together and then it reaches earthquake apps and reaches uh, notifications on smartphones and um and so people get the alerts the sort of alarms on their phones if they live in prone areas um, and so you get to very there's like various of websites you can go to as well to see the same reports um, they might differ in magnitude as well um, but otherwise they're they're publicized but if you look here on this tab there's a section here called full seismologists and then if you go to the latest data contributions there are some there is another list now so most I think um, some, yeah, a lot of these are reported onto the main list, but some of these are not. So if I just go through, see, so you've got 16th today, yeah. I'll go on to the next page. Notice that the, the list is more compact. This is the second page. Third page. So it's about halfway down through the third page we get into yesterday's so already we can tell that there's an extra page and it's compact so there, there's a lot of earthquakes that haven't been transferred over to the other so um, there could be lots of reasons for this maybe um, there's an error um, there's uh, not enough stations uh, reporting to make it a valid report um, another one uh, that I, I was recently told about was um, it might be not from an official institution that they need to cover um, from um, and and maybe the other reason is because it's a Euro European agency um, so they don't cover other countries but then it does make you wonder why they've got Solomon Islands and <laughs> places like that um, like a tiny you know um, so this list is interesting to look at because you'll find um, places like in Russia and China that pop up that are not in the map. So here's one that's also got no magnitude as well. <clears throat> so this is the, all the magnitude listings here. Um, so if we just click on one of these and have a look at one of these sort of vague ones that don't have very much information there's one station reporting and there's the magnitude there let's look at another one um, there's one in Russia so this is quite a few stations reporting and I think the magnitude is here so it's quite a high figure but if we go to one that I know has been reported so maybe for example this one in Indonesia um, <clears throat> yeah, so 
you can see there's all these figures here of all the different stations reporting different figures in the magnitude. This is why you get varying um, varying magnitude reports in the news. One person would say it's 4.5, someone else might say it's 4.7, someone else might say it's 4.1. Um, it's because it's just working out the average between all these stations. So sometimes it's worth a look at if you if you're kind of thinking mm, it might have been higher then look up this information and then you can just judge it for yourself sometimes you might be surprised that there are actually more higher magnitudes than than mentioned on the news um so yeah so there's this sort of borderline issue of scaremongering on the news or preventing to do that so um it's always a little bit of a gray area sometimes <clears throat> anyway, so that's how the information is looked up, um, which you can do quite easily. And hopefully that will be useful um, or for your interest on what goes on in the background behind the news. <laughs> um, right, thank you for watching. No, oh, I didn't want that. <laughs> and uh, from me and the bird, we'll speak to you soon.